Hey everyone, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I've got something really fun and different for you today. I've got an unboxing video. I've always wanted to do one. And my friends at Arteza sent me this great big holiday box filled with a bunch of surprise stuff. I don't know what's in it, but I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. And this is just a little thank you that they put together for me with a variety of different products because they're really enjoying and appreciating all of the different videos that I've been doing with their coloring materials with my stamp sets and images. So let's begin. Um, I already cut this open just so I wouldn't be struggling with it on camera. So let's go through and we'll see what there is. And um, as I go through, I might come back to some of the products and kind of share my thoughts on some of them. I don't know if I have some of these already, but my understanding is they just put together some things that would be great for the holidays, whether that's gift or making um, art projects that'll work. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm very excited. I've had a little bit of coffee, hopefully not too much coffee, but I'm excited just because it's a surprise. My boys were really envious seeing this great big box with the lid on it. Ooh. Okay. All right. So first of all, there's a little card. Happy holidays from Arteza. Got some fun tissue that I will save for another gift. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So there's a bunch of different things in here. All right, so this first one, get that centered. Uh, let's see, 12 half pans and water brush pen. Ooh, okay. All right, so I have a little watercolor set already. Uh, I think it's 24 or 36 pans. I gotta open this right now just to see this. So as you can see, this is like the size of my hand. And this is the tiniest little water brush I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this is something that I'm gonna be able to fit in my purse. And it's only 12 colors, so I don't have the range. I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep going through the stuff or if I wanna come back to this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and show this one since I've already got it. Let's pull this open though. So the half pans, these are just the little dried water colors that you activate with water. And the lid in my other set, it opens up so that you can do all of the mixing right in the tray. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so you have all of your colors there and these can actually pop out and slide around and then you just mix right in here. So with those primary, secondary, and then the neutrals, you can make all the colors that you need. And then, yep, it's like my other one. This little ring on the back, this is for you to slip your finger through and then you can just paint away. So it's just really easy to go back and forth. Oh, I love this. Okay, now does that fit in there? It does not. Okay, but this is gonna be really handy for fitting into my purse. I can't wait to use that. Thank you very much, Arteza. That's very exciting to have that little kit. Okay, now let's see. This looks like something that's gonna go with that. 88 page watercolor book premium. Okay, so five by five, five, five and a half inches square. 110 paper looks like it's let's see okay so here's a better description cold press dual sided acid free natural linen bound expandable inner pocket ideal for watercoloring techniques and mixed media okay so this is pretty exciting because i need to get my little knife to cut these with so i have some big watercolor pads but this is already cut down into a version that I can either just pop into a little frame or keep for like little watercolor studies all together. That, okay. Ooh, if lost, please return as a reward. That's so cute for my art. Okay, so we've got the little strap that's gonna keep it closed or you could also tuck a little pen or your water brush on there. This feels really nice. So you could make a little collection of these on your shelf in your art room. This works so well as a little gift set. I love that, okay. And so let's just look at the paper here. So you've got that nice textured paper. That is beautiful. So, all right, I can't wait to put my different images or just do some little watercolor studies in this. That is a really nice little book. Um, not sure how much these are, but the fact that you've got three, you've got one for you and then you can share them with a friend. I might have to put together a little candy package for this. I just, I gotta see what else is in here. 
Okay, this metallic gouache looks like it's 12 colors. Let's see. Okay. All right, so gouache, I've never worked with gouache before, but I know that it's a liquid paint. Ooh, okay. So these tubes, these will actually fit into my little drawer. I've got an easel with a drawer for colors. So I know that gouache is supposed to have really bright, saturated colors, and they're fun to mix. So this is going to be fun. You've got gold, silver, bronze, orange. All the colors are here on the back. And like I said, I don't, I have not worked with gouache before. I've worked with paint before, but not gouache. So I know it's similar, but it's got some different properties to it. But one thing I want to point out that I'm really enjoying about all my Arteza products is that every single one of them has these little QR codes on the back. Helpful tips specifically for that particular product. So I do look these up and it does really help giving me um, a jumping off point and helping me understand the different features and um, what's special about that particular product. So um, if you haven't used these before, you just take a picture of it on your phone, does it with the QR reader and it pulls up videos and tips about it. So very cool. So yay, can't wait to work, try that out. Okay, this looks like tubes so this is more paint Ooh, that's interesting so it's like a bag bag with a cap okay so I've got some light apricot 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 and then some cobalt blue and this will be perfect for you might have seen on my Instagram or Facebook I've been doing some different posters and things for our high school so this is really cool. So this is just a big thing of acrylic. And I guess you can order them as different colors. So this would be a really nice flesh tone. I did a bunch of people on there too. Um, so mixing that with white or with a black or a brown, I can get all sorts of shades. Very cool. Okay, so here's some paint. So I love playing with acrylics on posters. Okay, so here are some water-based ink blendable. Okay, so these are the real brush pens. So I did a video with these the other day. So I've got a big set of the, let's see, they're right here. I've got a set of 48. So these are all different colors, but this is a, it looks like here's one too. Okay, so I've got two packs now of tomato red and fresh green. Okay, so they're all the same. So just off the top of my head, what I can do with these, so I could make some little gift sets with the red and green together. Um, or I could use these for, let's see if I was doing a class or a stamp camp or something. It's kind of a challenge when you have to pass around one um, supply to everyone. So really when you do classes, you kind of have to have everybody have their own supplies. So this would work really well for that. Or um, I guess what I would do with these is, um, I run out of red and green really fast. Red is my favorite color, and I also use it a lot on flowers, and then green is always um, used on all the leaves and the stems. So having these, that would actually be really nice not to have to refill um, my different markers. I've got backups, because um, doing refills, I don't know, it's kind of a mess and kind of tricky. So that's cool. I have to decide if I want to keep these or not. Put them into that little pack that I was talking about, making a little blog candy. And then, okay, so here's more four packs. Another thing that you could do with the four packs is if you're trying to collect some different colors for projects, you could split these up with a group of friends and order them individually. Um, or if you lose one or one dries out, you can, you can reorder and then share them with friends. So I'm assuming they sent these because they're holiday colors, the so red and green. And then I also love mixing in pink and aqua or turquoise on my holiday cards. So this is the sky blue and the fuchsia. So these are the Everblend alcohol markers, which I've shown before. So look through my playlist and you'll see me use these, but they've got two different tips. They've got a fine point and then um, they've got that chisel tip. Okay, now let's see. So here, ooh, okay, I've got some glitter here. Appreciate that they bagged it up in case it went everywhere, but it looks like it's still all in the pack. So multi-purpose radiant colors, holographic chunky glitter. Okay, I don't have any chunky glitter. So that's really cool. It actually looks like, hope you can see that. I'm going to pull one of these out. 
it looks like it has fine bits, but then also almost like sequins. So this would be beautiful for a shaker card. Oh, I love that. Okay. So there's one that's kind of a, a pretty purple or it's called fairy dust and then moonstone. All right. I'm going to have to make a shaker card now. I'm going to do that with my holiday frame and make a snow globe. I said it, so now I have to do it. So that's a fun stamp set. All right, so I've got glitter now. So you can see they just got a huge range of supplies there. And this, okay, I feel like I am eight years old again seeing this. This is the 24 sheet scratch paper pad. So I see it's got some scratchers. So let me open this up. If you've never done this before, in art, when I was younger, we would make our own scratch sheets where we would do really vivid colors all over a piece of white paper. And then we would either color it with black crayon or black paint and then scratch through it. Oh, it's got like a little postcard. Let's see how many postcards are in here. Let's see if it says on here. One gold pattern postcard, one silver pattern postcard. Okay, so I guess it's a surprise which design is which. Come on. Okay, so you can just make your own on either one. And what you could even do is you could stamp on a stamp design. I'm thinking about this right now, maybe in a Versamark or in a pigment ink, like a white, and then scratch over it to recreate that design. I'm gonna have to try that, experiment with that in a video. And then I've got the pad. And again, there's the helpful tips. So I'm gonna look on there and then look on Pinterest maybe to get some ideas. So eight and a half by 11, when you cut off that little uh, perforation or the binding edge there, and underneath it's just gonna look like a rainbow. So this would be really fun for doing like some of the, the chalkboard or poster board, like those inspirational sentiments to then put in a frame, an eight by 10 frame. Sorry, just spit on there a little bit. Okay, that is really cool. So I can make actually 24 of these and that would be fun as gifts or just a craft activity or whatever. I don't know, how fun. I was not expecting that. Okay, and so then, okay, so you've got these scrapers and I guess that is for whittling down these sticks. So let me do just a little bit here just to show you what that's going to reveal. Oh, okay. So here's the gold. I can see when I put this down. All right. So maybe, let's see, let me try to, Ooh, so I'm going to do a C. I'm just going to do a Christmas here. And then I'm going to hold it to the light so you can see. so pretty and then go back and make some of the lines a little bit deeper that is gorgeous I love it I'm so excited to play with this all right so you can find all of these online I know they're all available right now from Arteza and I will put some links in my video description below thank you Arteza so much for all these really cool products. Again, I'm really enjoying all of them. They stand by the quality. If you ever have an issue with any of your products, just give them a call. When you're ordering, I've looked through the site a lot, and if there's something that I have questions about, there's always a little pop-up that um, a chat box comes up, and you can ask any questions right then on the fly, and that's helped me make my choices for what I want to order. So again, that is the Arteza Holiday Gift Box. I am really excited to play with these products and I'm going to have to make some more videos to show you how I'm going to use all these. I hope you're having a really great Christmas season um, and please come back and just see some more of my videos and have fun being creative. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.